Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we created a React component to list the questions on browser and we also got a warning that each child in a list should have a unique key property. Okay, this is because the card element where we are displaying a question is not a unique element in the DOM because there is no unique identity associated with it. But to remove this warning, we need to add a key attribute to the question card element. Okay, uh, but before removing that and adding the key attribute to that question card element let me show you what is the actual warning so here you can see that we are displaying the questions here okay and now click on the browser at anywhere and inspect the page okay so here you will see that in the row class okay and into the grid column you can see there are multiple cards are displaying the questions okay from our question list array okay now go to the console tab into the the browser and here you can see the warning that each child in a list should have a unique key property okay but what is key here so a key is a special at string attribute you need to include when creating list of elements keys help the react to identify that which items have changed in the list and are added in the list or are removed from the list key should be given to the elements inside the array to give the elements at a stable identity okay but what we should provide here as key to add our card element since in question list array we only has the json object with title and tag attributes only so far so for now we cannot assign id from our questions collection so we need to use the array indexing to add the key attribute now let me show you the questions array okay so you can come to the question list js and here you can see question list component and here you can see that we have a questions list constant array okay and there we have some json objects with two key value pair one is title and other is tag so title has the question title and tag has the area of that particular question okay so now we will use the array indexing to remove this key property okay so what we need to do to add the array indexing as the key so here you can come into your component okay and here you just need to provide the index okay and then you need to add a key attribute here okay so let's add key and then you can add or you can simply use the curly braces to display the dynamic data here so here you can add index okay and then to a string Okay, because uh, array indexing is the integer and uh, key is for unique string attribute okay however you can simply provide the index as well here and that will work too okay now if you save this and refresh your browser so come to the browser and refresh it and this will remove this key warning okay now you can see that uh, we added the key attribute to every card element and the warning is not appearing into the browser console and the warning what was there so it was every child in the list should have a unique key property okay and we remove that using array indexing but this is not a recommended solution in fact even the array indexing removed this key warning you should avoid using this way i mean you should avoid providing key of array indexes because using indexes as the key can negatively impact performance and may cause issue with the component state okay so what is the solution then the simplest way is to provide an id key value pair into your json objects this way you can avoid using indexes for key attributes and this never affect the performance okay so let's add an id into the json into each json object of our question list array okay so what we can do here just come to each json object and here you need to add id and we can add one okay add comma and we can do the same thing for every object okay so let's come into every json object and add id here two here three and then here four okay and similarly add id for all five six seven eight nine ten okay so id five here six And seven and eight okay. and for rest of the two nine and ten respectively add zero 
so now we have id for each json object in the question list array so now what we can do come to the question list return uh, element that here now we can remove this index okay and we can simply use the question dot id as a string so just remove this here you can use question dot id and this id will provide the unique key string or unique key identifier to all the child elements into a component okay or child element of a list okay here the question list is a list and we are mapping it through it and we are displaying multiple card elements inside it so every card element is the child for this question list array okay and here we use the questions id and now let me tell you that why i am using id here and why using id is the better way because suppose when you fetch the data from some apis and we will do that later in the course so when you fetch some data from the apis you will also get the instances of active record models okay and active record models you can send id or some unique keys every time okay and that unique key you can use as the id so that's why i am using id here and it is the much better way because if you have id as the unique key identifier then it does not matter that when you change the position of your element okay it always come with the id and every id of every json object will be different from each other okay now after updating the key attribute let's refresh the page again and you will not see the warning in this case as well okay so save this okay and refresh your page okay so let's refresh the browser and here you will see that we removed the array indexes but we are still not seeing the warning of key attribute and that's it for this lecture so here we learn how to deal with the key attribute so if you like this just follow and let's meet into another lecture where we will separate the card elements for an individual question in another component and we will also try to understand that what are props in react until then just go through this and let's meet into another lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe